Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our very own brother, Uzo Kalu, has cried out, saying, you know, people have been insulting him, that he supported Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. He did not support, um, you know, his own, uh, his own, rather he supported Ashiwaju who has won. And there are so many, you know, matters coming up. So much so that APC has warned, uh, you know, uh, Ebos, especially those in diaspora, has sent message that they should please stop insulting, you know, um, Uzo Kalu. Again, I would not encourage anybody to insult him. Um, he, 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 he has made his choice and um, he has a right to support whichever presidential candidate he deems fit. If he has decided not to support Peter Obi, so be it. We accept you will accept, you know, his uh his his position. We accept who he says he is and what have you. You know, so that should not really be a problem. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Stop insulting Senator Uzo Kalu for supporting Tinubu, APC Abians in Diaspora tells Ebos. A cross-session of Abians in Diaspora under the alliance of assured like-minded led by Sivano Sam has appealed to President-elect Ashiwa Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Let's get all the details. A cross-session of Abias in diaspora under the alliance of assured like-minded link led by Sivano Sam has appealed to president-elect Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu to correct age-long marginalization of indigos by balancing political appointment based on federal character. According to Sam, the people of Southeast have been neglected over the years. The group commended the political synergy of the chief whip of Senator Dr. Uzo Kalu, who constantly conversed support for the president elect, adding that Kalu was called an unprintable name in various quarters in Igbo land for supporting APC at all levels. Sam, why admonishing Indigos to embrace national politics, cautioned those blackmailing Kalu for throwing his weight behind the president elect. An APC pointed out that the former governor of Abia State will continue to support APC in a bid to attract federal projects and political appointment for the South East. He said, I wish to congratulate Nigerian president elect Ashiwa Jamed Bolap Tinubu on the victory he recently secured from the presidential election. As a Nigerian of the South East origin, in my opinion, for the sake of nationalhood, I humbly urge the president-elect to integrate Indigbos into national politics by giving the position of Senate president another key appointment to South Easterners. The low number of votes casted to the APC in the election is a set of results of neglect of the South East over the years. We are optimistic that the president-elect, who is a genuine, progressive, and highly and highly detribalized Nigeria will correct this imbalance in national politics. Despite the level of blackmail melt out for Kalu, he didn't shy away from justifying his pan Nigerian disposition and support for Tinubu. We commend Kalu for his commitment to integrate Indigbos into the national politics. Some urge Indigbos to join hands with Ashiwaju and other stakeholders in building a progressive Nigeria rather than being quiet. So this is what is happening right now, my people. This is what is going on. You can see for yourself that there is serious need for every single person to rise up to the occasion and not allow the same thing again and again. We can see that uh, people are using the opportunity of what they have to try to quickly, you know, um, just get a position or get a place in order for them to secure some lines of victory as the case may be.
you can see very right now very just now that things are quite different it's not all uh, all you see is not all there is and so there is really you know um there is really need for every single uh person to ensure that we do everything that is needed okay so what we are seeing right now are these are all uh you know proper you know uh, and proper planning in terms of ensuring that we do everything humanly speaking possible and that uh, we are all ready we are all ready to do all that is needed it is important that you know okay you know it is important that we uh we uh, officially rise up and ensure that we do not allow you know people who you know who do not uh you know uh do not share in the true details of nation building to continue to detect our lives you, you know you know, I, I think I think it's high time. Okay, I think it's high time we 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 rise up. Okay, we rise up and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Nigerians, it's about time we rise up. Yes, it's about time. You know, so it is it is a matter of urgent attention, and um, you, we we just need to ensure that we put every single person right back on track and bring nigeria out of the hands of desperados who want to you know get money for themselves at all costs irrespective of what happened to the people they can't be bothered very selfish individuals if you ask me very selfish and so it is time to advance it is time to make real progress and it is time for the change to begin to manifest so you can see that uh, every single time we have an opportunity to ensure that this change is effected some persons may want to you know take over and do whatever they want to do but we're not going to avail them that opportunity and that chance we are not going to so it is what it is it is what it is and so it is important we begin to see these things for re what they really are and ensure that uh, you know we 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 are we are you know we are ready um you know we are ready uh you know we are ready for this move for this move for this next level yes okay so please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe god bless have a lovely and a fantastic day from us it's bye for now have a good day bye bye